Hello and welcome to this presentation of Mobile to Sage. My name is Ara Martirosian and I'll be guiding you through a uh, demonstration of what the product can do. Uh, it's aimed at freeing you from your back office. And those are my contact details at the bottom in case you have any queries or if you'd like to email me about your requirements. So I'll give you a quick background to why the solution came about, an overview of how it works, some potential uses for it, various different screenshots, uh, and uh, also uh, I'll end with a demonstration of a system that I set up for an imaginary pool care company. So what's the background to it? Well, the users want to be mobile, and in order for them to be mobile, they need to have something that's very easy to use. Uh, it needs to be quick set up, uh, but the problem here is their back office system is pretty difficult to uh, integrate into mobile devices because it was never designed for that. Also, there are various different types of mobile devices. You can have scanners as well as the various different types of phones, be it an iPhone, an iPad, an Android phone or Windows mobile. Furthermore, mobile users need to be able to do their processes both online and offline. Uh, using you know 3G or Wi-Fi and also the processes need to be user configurable so the user needs to define how they want to work so how does it work well it's pretty simple really uh, we set up the business process for you and that's normally a one day or two day job you then pick your mobile device and you log on to our website so that could be from an iPhone or a barcode scanner uh, which then downloads the application onto your mobile device and then we integrate the process data that's captured from the mobile device back into your Sage. In this particular case, I'm going to be looking at Sage 50, but it does work with 100, 200, 500, 1000, CRM. In fact, it works with any system as long as we can export and import data into it. So what about potential uses? Well, this can cover any business transaction. And what we can do is link parts of that business transaction to your back office system. So in this case, Sage 50 could be updated with a creating a new customer or generating a new invoice or checking prices or whether the customer's on hold, all of those things. Uh, you can define your own screens, your own fields, your own logic. You can even capture things like signatures and photos and audio files. And having set it up, you can also access it from your desktop browser, uh, from a browser something like uh, Safari, something that uses HTML5. Uh, for this presentation, I'm going to be using a, a, an iPhone screenshot, but you could just as easily use a barcode scanner uh, like the single one there, uh, and it works on uh, iPhone, Palm, Windows Mobile, or Android. So the way it works is this. You define a process. So here on the left-hand side, I have three set up, and I'll be running through the pool care process at the top. And what it does is it replicates the data between the mobile device and our server, and in this case, it's gone off and it's brought a job back. And this is uh, the demonstration we're going to run through shortly. Uh, I can put logos on there to incorporate the uh, offering and uh, the process has gone off and it's brought back the details of the uh, client that I'm going to be visiting, what type of uh, contract they have and it also has all access to all the normal uh, mobile device facilities so in this particular case on the iPhone I've got the tumblers. I can enter data uh, as uh, as you would normally using the keyboard and you can then uh, also put in uh, different actions you can pick different products and quantities and in this case uh, I've got some bromine tablets which I'm going to pick up and then it will go off and it will bring the latest prices back and tell me the value of that particular invoice and the final step of this business process is to get the customer to sign to uh, validate that uh, he's happy with the work that was carried out and having done that it then goes back to the server and from your search system all you need to do is click onto the um, uh, mobile to Sage button in the top right hand side as you can see on this screen uh, so in this particular case I can see the last invoice was 119 at the bottom I click on mobile to Sage and in this particular case for this business process all I need to do is upload some product invoices which have been uh, the data that's been captured on the business process it then imports it and there's invoice number 120 which I can then preview uh, in a normal fashion. So I've formatted the one on the left hand side, which then has uh, things like what time the visit started, what time it finished, the mobile to Sage ID number, as well as the normal invoice numbers and dates and so on. And of course, that can then be emailed and uh, PDF'd and emailed out as normal using Sage 50. So 
let's go and have a look at it. So that's the uh, pool care scenario. So the first thing we need to do is uh, bring the browser up and in this particular, uh, just to make things easier, I'm going to be using uh, the Safari on the desktop. So at the moment, uh, my pool care engineer is out there in the field and he has no jobs associated uh, with him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now allocate a job through the back office system to him and that's now been sent. So let's just replicate that and off it's doing it's going off to the server and it's uh, coming back uh, with any new jobs so let's just double check that there you go so he's been allocated that job so he now gets in his car or his van and he says right I now need to go and see uh, that's my company logo and I now need to go and see uh, Mr. Mark Everett who is uh, the customer with a gold pool care contract so he gets a super service and that's his account detail red IT1 in the Sage system so I started at quarter past five and I actually finished the job at quarter past six. Um, and what did I do? Well, uh, the first thing I did was I actually checked the pump filter and that was OK. And uh, the next thing I also did was I went and checked the pH levels in the swimming pool. And that was a little bit low. So I think I'm going to have to add some um, chlorine to it. So let's go on to the next page. And I can now, at this point, uh, put in the uh, chemicals that I use. So I use some bromine tablets, uh, and I used 10 of those. And uh, that's great. So the next thing I need to do is the invoice date correct. I can go to the next bit. And it's now going and uh, check, uh, doing the calculation of the invoice value. And it's come back and it says I uh, have got one item, which is 519 pounds for this particular visit. And uh, those, that's the breakdown of it. And all of these screens can be tailored and uh, manipulated uh, as required. And uh, all I need to do is get the customer to uh, sign it off. And that's it, job done. The engineer has done his work. He no longer has anything else to do. And what we need to do then is just replicate that to the server. So off it goes and uh, sends that information to the server. And we're now ready to import that into Sage. So let's have a look at our Sage server, which is on a uh, location. There we go. There's the Sage server. Uh, the last invoice was 120. So let's uh, close that down. And I'll now go to mobile to Sage, which will then open a connection between this uh, Sage 50 and the mobile to Sage server. And it's now logged on. And it now knows that it needs to upload the product invoices. So I'll now click on that. That's it. Job done. I can disconnect. Uh, from Sage and exit it, go into my invoice list, and there it is, invoice 121. So let's print it and have a look at it. Preview it, and there we are. There's our invoice, started at 5.15, finished at 6.15, invoice number 121, mobile ID 1, 000, uh, so 10,023 for account red IT1. I sold him 10, or I used 10 bromine tablets at £44 each. Uh, I tested the pH, which was a bit low. I tested the pump filter, which was all okay. And there it is. And obviously what I can do is then just uh, email that off. And uh, off it goes. And, uh, close that down and close that down and uh, I can have a look at it there you go there it is in my inbox uh, as you would expect it to be so dear Sarah madam here's your PDF invoice and I'll open up uh, a PDF version of the uh, invoice that's been imported from mobile to Sage into Sage 50 ready for the uh, use by the client dead simple that uh, presentation of uh, interest. Uh, what else can we help you with? Well, basically anything to do with Sage really uh, and Microsoft. So if you've got any particular uh, Sage queries or if you need any integration work or if you require any bespoke work, then please don't hesitate to, uh, to give us a call. Uh, thank you for your time and attention. Um, my name is again Ara Marcherosian and my contact details are ara at mobile to sage.co.uk. Uh, or you can visit the website for the latest developments. Thank you.